Our prime examples are simply people who draw fire. Our professional athletes don't draw fire. Politicians do. They seem to say to the rest of the world, look at me, I have power over you. And they're vulnerable. Interesting. I'm all for the present security. And you make a very interesting point that, uh, that television has enabled the country to vault over that wall and sees more of the president now than it, than it has in the past. Jeff Greenfield at the White House. An observation on this? Yes, two quick ones. When I went to work on Capitol Hill 20 years ago, in 1967, before the state of violence, the security compared to today was as, as if it was another planet. Going into the Senate yesterday to get my credentials for today, I was profoundly depressed, and I am almost every time I go into the Capitol or the Senate, by the metal detectors and the degree of security. I'm not saying it isn't necessary or provoked by what's happened, but it is a different kind of country now, uh, a different kind of government, less accessible than it was. And I think the second thing is, I remember vividly a picture of John Kennedy the summer of 1963 where he was swimming in an ocean. He had come out on a public beach and there was a crowd of ordinary Americans thrilled and stunned to see this man, their president, standing there with a big grin on his face saying, see, here I am. If George Bush is able to reassert the prerogative of a president to go out and be an ordinary person, I devoutly hope the press does not take it as a personal affront. It seems to me that is something that would not only be good for George Bush, but good for the country to remind us that a president has ordinary impulses and should not be treated as an imperial, constantly threatened individual. Interesting point, Jeff Barber. Two things. One, uh, tomorrow, President and Mrs. Bush are having an open house. Anybody can line up and come into the White House. I think from 8 a.m. to 11 uh, until uh, the line is closed off just for lack of time. That's something that has not been done. The other thing is that it well, is. Can I just interject there yeah. for a second? It was the last time it was done by a president. The place was invaded by rowdies. And they had to put free booze out in the lawn that to get the rowdies out back. of the White House. <laughs> not, in, not in modern times. It has well, but let's talk about that. Andrew right. Jackson. Yeah. But the other thing is that it's not just security, it's how much the president is insulated. And we have now a president who has a great variety of friends, everything from motion picture producers to his buddies from Yale, his friends from Maine. He has a huge family of divergent opinions. So that even if he can't go out as much, he does have much more, what? Uh, many more people coming into him than we had under President Reagan or even President Carter. And some of them are already there on the North Lawn of the White House and Compton. There you go. Annie? Yes, Peter. You've we got have, family with you. We have family. We have Neil Bush and son Pierce. Now, Pierce doesn't want to be interviewed. He wants to get back down and watch that parade. Neil, did you know that the president was going to get out of the motorcade and uh, walk? I really didn't, but it's not surprising to me. They're fairly spon okay. spontaneous, <laughs> spontaneous people, a little bit like Pierce. You do that to your grandfather. Really really of what this White House is going to be like. The whole family is supposed to be somewhat spontaneous. Is that what we're going to see in this administration? I think so. I think you're going to see some pretty interesting things out of my mother.